Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can probably see from the flags in the background, we are at Chessington World of Adventures. Yay! Fun failed day out for the family. Yes. Nostalgic day for me and Tony because we used to come here a lot as kids. Primrose's first time, Finn's first time of realising what's going on. The last time we came, he was about one, so he definitely doesn't remi remember a lot. And actually, he got scared and we didn't really do a lot, did we? No. We ended up just going around the zoo. So for those who don't know, Chessington is a family-themed uh, theme park. So there's lots of smaller children's rides. There is a couple of roller coasters here, such as um, Dragon's Fury and uh, Mandrill Mayhem in the New Jumanji Land. Um, but there's also a zoo and an aquarium and some shows. So we're going to hopefully show you a blend of everything. It may not look it in the background, but it is half term and it is a weekend. So it's going to be very busy today, we think. So we're going to take it relaxed and hope to get on as much as we can. Absolutely. But not stress if we can't do too much. But I hope you enjoy this vlog. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel because we do a vlog every Sunday. I guess released on the channel or at the weekend at the very least. Lots of Disney content, lots of family days out. Yes, and we're going to take you on this journey today. Yeah, let's go. ride we're going on today is going to be Prim's favourite. What is it? Buffalo. The Gruffalo, <laughs> as you can see in the background there. We're going it on the Buffalo. Go down. No, it doesn't go down. Um, this is one that used to be the Bubble Works. None of us have been on this since it's changed. So we'll go on now and take you guys with us.
They're quite cool. Some socks. Room on a broom hoodies. A hoodie, which is quite cool. Is £25. And they've got obviously all the plushies as well. Let's see how much a plushie is. So a small plushie of the Gruffalo. Quite cool. It is £15. So quite a lot of money really for what it is. It's very small. Um, and they've got some few in for as well. And of course, on the other side is all the vampires. It is a drone shot between the two. How was we looked at the picture, and he turned around. He's like, the picture's just Daddy with a camera in front of his face. <laughs> so how was the ride? Yeah, I thought it was really good. Did you enjoy it for your first ride? Grim still yeah. got that little specks of water on her face. Thing. How was it? I'm actually surprised that that it that was a huge puddle. Yeah. <laughs> By our feet. Yeah, so my feet are absolutely soaked. The bottom of our tub was full of water, it has been up the hill, went over the top of my feet, so I've got wet feet for the rest of the day. But let's go do our second ride. Right, we're now about to go into the seesaw, which is just behind us. Yeah. And pretty much went backwards. Yes, it does. Should be fun, um, well, let's before, it's a fun little kiddie ride. Yes. So we've just come off of Sea Fury, we're going to give it our ratings from me. It was a four, it was good fun. Uh, what did you rate it as out of five? I really like an octopus. Yeah, we did the octopus, octopus ride, the sea stop. <laughs> How many points do you want to give it? A one, two, three, four, five. How good was it? A five. A five. Five, five. five from Primmy. I'll give a four, definitely. Four, it's five. Finn. Yes, How did you five. find it? Out of five. Well, we are now going to split off. Me and Finn are going to go on the big blue barnacle pirate ship, and I think Mummy and Primmy are going to go on trawler trouble. <gasps> and we'll see you after that. So, me and Primrose are about to go on trawler trouble. 
it's a nice slow uh, walk around because it's quite warm today but we're excited to go on this third third ride of the day we excited yeah. bit of music in the background let's do this see you on the other side Okay, so we just got out of the ride. Primrose, did you love it? Yeah, and Primrose gave it another five out of five for that one, of course. A five? Oh, we're going for the two. Oh, okay. Okay, well, so there was the Gruffalo better? Yeah. That one was better. Okay, then. Interesting. Um, I'd definitely give it a two. Well, it's good for kids, absolutely, but in terms of tourist seeking, it's not the best ride, but it was fun. You're only on it for about a minute. Nice little walk around and we literally just walked straight onto the ride. So off to the next ride. So see you soon. Yay! It must be 1.3 tall to ride alone or 1.1 and 1.3 to come on with an adult. This is a nostalgic one for me. I remember this when I was younger. It's got really cool pirate theming. The boat in the background over there. Walk the plank. So the blue barnacle, what scores did it get from you? Five. And a five from me. It's one of the best pirate ships, I think, in the country. Great one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you get the real proper weightlessness feeling at the top. It's amazing. As the vampire goes past the background there, Finn's gonna go on that stay with Mummy. <clears throat> I came here on the opening of Jumanji a couple of weeks back. Why not then? It was a bit bumpy. It's getting a bit old. So I'm gonna miss that one today. We're now gonna go and find Tony and Prim and get on some other rides. Um, but yeah, it's very busy here today, but we knew it would be. But so far we've done three rides, four rides actually, at 11 a.m., so not too bad. And it is the Mardi Gras on today, so I'm gonna flip the camera around now and show you there's some dancing and party activity going on in the background as well. Going on. Yeah, who have we found? Winnie the Witch. Winnie the Witch, is that who the witch is called? Yeah, yeah. is it gonna be fun? <laughs> Let's go. Just a five minute queue, so this one should be nice and quick. <laughs> Lovely empty queue line. Never been on this, I think it's like a walkthrough, it looks like, but yeah. we're not really sure. We'll find out when we I'm go intrigued. inside. I can't remember what used to be in here. I think it was like a haunted yes. house. Oh with like God. the mirrors and stuff and like the floors were wonky and things like that. We actually tried to take Finn in it, do you remember? Yes, yeah, and he got scared didn't he and we had <laughs> to leave. We had to retract. So that was when Finn was about one, I think. <laughs> Let's see what it is now. Yeah, we're going to go through there. Well, Nino might go on the Today, I want to tell you a story about a witch who loses her hat, her bow, and her wand, and about all the new friends she meets on her journey. Gather round closely. Children, to the front, please. Oh, I think we're missing someone. Ah, oh, there you are, cat. <laughs> Had a cat 
and a very tall hat, and long ginger hair, which she wore in a plait. Ha, ha, ha. 
So Prim, how did you find that? Is it good? A good what rating? How many numbers? One. One? Oh. One, two, two. Two out of five. Not that good. I give it a one. Five, it scared the three, life out of me. Five. It gets the whole five. Yeah! Whole five from Primmy. From me, I would give it a three. It's a really good walk around. Um, I wish you had a bit more time in each area. There's lots of people, so it can be a bit noisy and a bit much I've going on. I've given it a four, actually. I really liked it. I thought it was very interactive as well. Yeah. Getting the kids I to jump up and Actually, down. yeah, I will give it a four, actually. It was, it was good. I'll give it a one because it scared the life out of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's at different points as you saw the dragon, it went poof, and the smoke came out of his mouth. So that Not was kind just of funny. that, it, when you had to look in the haystack. Oh, yeah, you had to look in the haystack, and, put your hands in to look for the bow, oh, and uh, it burst air at you as well. So that was good fun. <laughs> that was very fun. Yes. Yeah, I like that. I'll definitely do it again. Yes. I think we're going to go try and find another ride now. We'll let you know what it is just before we go on it. But so far, for a busy day in half term, it's not too bad, is it? It's done well, yeah. I don't feel like it's too crowded at the moment. No, we've done five rides and it's only about quarter past 11, so it's not too bad. Um, definitely not as busy as we expected it to be, which is fantastic. <laughs> to see you Graffalo. Oh, we've just been playing a quick game and we're about to start our counting game which is your absolute favourite, isn't it Graffalo? Would you like to join in with Graffalo's favourite counting game? Yeah. High five. Woo! Oh, lovely. Oh, Graffalo's not a big trap. Perfect, well done Primmy. <laughs> As we walk towards the safari ride, we just had some quick lunch at the um, drop kitchen. It's like a chicken drop, I think it's called. Um, basically, just chicken strips and chips. One of the better places to eat here. I mean, none of the places are great, um, but it's all right. Chicken tenders and chips is about uh, nine, ten pounds, I think. But the quality is not too bad. Um, kids liked it. Good place to refuel. And we are now walking up, as I'm sure you can see behind me there walking up towards the safari ride none of us so i came on it on my own about two weeks ago when we did the opening of jumanji um, however tony finn and prim have never been on it when we brought finn here when he was about one we actually queued up all the way to the front and um, to be told he was about one centimeter too small to go on it which is really annoying because they measured him at the front and it looked like he could go on it but we're going to go on it now and show you guys what it's like We're just about to get on, we were in the front row. Um, new ride for Tony, Prince and Kim. Looking forward to giving you a rating on this. I've been on it, there's a little surprise part way through, which uh, I won't spoil the... We've briefly said it's not to do with a cave, <laughs> yeah. so... It's to do with a cave, but I'll, I'll let you figure it out afterwards. Okay. It might affect your review. We'll okay. see you when we finish. <laughs> okay. So how did everyone find it? Yeah, it's very bumpy. Uh, yeah. I want to find... Oh, okay. But yeah, it is very, very bumpy. For me, I give it a two. I don't think it's that great. I give it a three. It's nice. Something, it yeah, four. I just don't understand I'll what the cave it. is for. Ben, what'd you give it? Four. I'll give four. It. What'd you a give a three? Brimmy gives a three. Like you. Yeah. Yes, Daddy. Um, yeah, the cave bit is a bit weird. Oh, the end. But at least you got to see some of the animals up close, which is nice. Yes. Yeah. Right, let's go explore and see else we can get on. So we're now going to split up. Tony and Finn are going to go on Croc Drop and me and Primmy are going to go and do Tomb Blasters. We said earlier on that we were going to do it. We actually didn't. Um, we got caught up getting some food and then went on the safari. So me and Primmy are going to go and do that now while Tony and Finn do Croc Drop. It's about the same time of a wait. about going on this one Finn? Yeah. yeah. I am excited. It's quite tall though. <laughs> that is taller than 
not. It's giving me Tower of Terror vibes. We'll see on the other side. Right, so me and Finley are about to go on this very soon. It's really high, doesn't it? <laughs> are you excited though, Finn? Not as high as the Hollywood Tower though. I know, I know I compared it to that earlier, but still, um, it gives me that vibe because it's a drop ride, isn't it? So we'll see. Yeah. See what it's like. Also, we went to this chicken place earlier, just there, which was amazing. We bought two meals um, for I think it's like sixteen pound and shared it between the four of us, which ended up being really cheap. So we're really, really pleased about that. Definitely recommend this chicken place. Very good food. Uh, yes. Great. How was it Finn? Four. It's a four. Yeah, it was good. So yeah. we go all the way up there, <laughs> as you can see. It's a good drop. It's nowhere near as fast as like a, what's it called? Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror. Absolutely all normal. Now there's a gift shop. <laughs> so we've just gone through there. I'd give it a four. It was very fun. I really enjoyed it. Like a drop one, but it is scary and it's nice actually seeing over the park. So, on to the next ride. Tomb Blaster. We're going now. Right, me and Primmy have just come off of Tomb Blaster. What score do you give it? What score? Two? A two? A one? Pew, pew, no, that's two. what you have to do. You have to pew pew. But what score do you give it out of five? Five? Three. One? Ah. I give it a two. It's a good ride, the theming is amazing, but the queue is really bad. The operations today are really slow, so there's not very many staff on the rides. So one woman, bless her, is having to run up and down, make sure everyone's buckled in, set the ride off, check for safety. It's really, really slow. They said it was a 35 minute wait, it was more like 50. Um, yeah, Merlin, you need to sort it out. I know you're making more profit by having less staff, but yeah, you can't be having these operations on the rides. Uh, it is really slowing things down and making people not enjoy the day. But good ride, good theming, and good fun. We're gonna go and find the Jumanji world now because Tony, Finn, and Prim have never been there. They wanna explore it. Um, unfortunately, the virtual queue for Mandrel Mayhem is full today, but there is two other uh, flat rides they're gonna try and go on, yes. and which is Ostrich Stampede, and remember the other one? Um, it was like Mamba Stripe. Mamba Stripe. So we're gonna try and go on those now and have a look around the new land. Excited! So I have done a full video of the opening day of Jumanji which is the land we are going into now. So if you want to see that, I'll link it below. Um, and you can see all the rides and the area on the opening, even have the opening ceremony in there as well, so check that out. What did you think of Jumanji Land? I love the theming. I think it's absolutely fantastic. When you walk in, see it's all new and fresh. And we're just saying, it's such a shame. Some people have actually picked apart parts of the like decor, yeah. decoration. I don't know what it is for people. They've got like fruit baskets they've used as part of the theming. People have grabbed the fruit out of it and broken it off. Uh, it's literally been open two weeks. I was here on the opening two weeks ago. And people have already damaged the area, which is very frustrating, very shame. selfish. Because it's a lovely area, it's really yeah. good. I love the merch, it's quite cool. Yeah. There's like a water bottle that's like your classic when you go uh, foraging. Oh, what's that? Yeah, like an exploring water bottle, wasn't it? Brim, of course, was going, oh, the little rides. I think now we're going to head off to the zoo and have a wander around. Everything's starting to get a bit busy now, so we're going to go see the animals. Um, we're saying we feel it's getting really, really busy now. It's later in the day, it's about three o'clock, two o'clock. Um, in fact, let me check the time. Half two, it's in the middle. <laughs> um, it's starting to get busy now, but we feel that we've done enough. We're happy with everything we've done. So we're just going to chill out, see the animals. Then um, Finn wants to go on a big ride, so we're going to get a fast pass to go on a big ride for him, and that'll kind of be our day wrapped up, I think. Um, Lions. He has just seen sea lions. But yeah, we're going to show you some of the animals now and then uh, let you know what we're up to next. I think they're waiting for some food. And the man gave a 
Oh. And he said he got a boo-boo. Who got the boo-boo? I don't know, apparently one of the counties. Oh, a meerkat! Oh, the meerkat got a boo-boo. <laughs> oh, okay. She saw it fall. <laughs> so where in the wild they have thought to be extinct. They're also very rare in here. Because I can't see them. As we cannot see them. <laughs> nice. Nice. Right. Lovely it's enclosure, no, but it's empty. Well, Finn, where are the, where are the bush dogs? In a bush, because they're <laughs> in a bush. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair they true. probably are in a bush. <laughs> Interesting fact bush dogs are also known as vinegar dogs because they give off a smell scent. It's like vinegar. A bush dog. And very strong <laughs> because they've cracked the glass. <laughs> How strong the scent was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoa, Finn, are you as big as a gorilla? Is it a thing? No. Is it a gorilla? The answer is Finn. Finn. Prim, you're one leg of a gorilla. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was all. Yeah, it was. Oh, I think the whole thing. Gorilla had baby rice yesterday. So we just saw the animal, super cute. Very cute, a little baby gorilla. Yeah, it's a nice little area. One of the things they do in the winter, actually, when the parks are shut, is you can come to just the zoo. I don't think it's big enough to warrant coming for a morning or anything else. No, like it's maybe small. five or six enclosures. The gorillas were very cute there. There was a baby little gorilla. It was so cute. <laughs> so cute, it's swinging on the on the rope, which is really nice. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. Now we're just going to walk and see the aquarium and then hopefully try and get a fast pass, although for some reason signal's really bad today. I don't know if it's because the number of people in the park, we'll try and get a fast pass for Dragon's Fury. And um, oh, as I say, some penguins. Some penguins. And then we maybe do a couple of rides again that we've already done, um, try and get a fast pass, and then that'll be us done, I think. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to go back onto room on a broom. Yeah. Once we got to experience it before. It's nice to just go back and do it again. There's yes. lots of bits that you interact with, so we want to watch the kids actually play with it. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going to film this time, but yeah, great fun. We just had our picnic, so had our rolls. Oh, they were good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, needed. The sit down was needed as well. But yeah, we're going to go on this now. What ride are we on? The dragon one. Yeah. So we just did a little sea dragons ride. Cute little ride. Yeah. It's the longest ride we've been on today. Yeah. A I one from me though, it made me dizzy. Yeah, a one from us. Finn actually gave a negative one. <laughs> yeah. But that's because it's not his sort of thing. Yeah. The only good thing about it is that it's calming. Oh, I did say though, it'd be really good if, because it goes up and down. If it went into the water as it went down, that splashed a bit, it'd make it a little bit more, I don't know, jazzy. Yeah. <laughs> more jazzy, yeah. It made me dizzy though, it just goes round and round and round. Um, but we're now going to um, 
Griffin's Galleon, I think it's called. And we'll let you know what that one's like. Oh, this looks a bit more fun. wants to go on the dragon that's going over <laughs> over above. She's desperate to go on it, obviously way too small. She's got about another 10 years before she go on that Yes, <laughs> uh, but Griffin's Galleon oh, is pretty dad. good. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll have a look at how long the wait is there almost. But yeah, the ride is pretty good. I would give it, for what it is, I would give it a four, four yeah, because yeah. it's brilliant for Prim. There's no wait, we walk straight onto it and it's actually quite a good ride. Yeah, it's cute, I do like it. Yeah, good one for little kids, especially Finn. Did you like it? Three. Three. Bit too tame for Finn. But yeah. Four. Four, okay. <laughs> well, now we're going to go and try and find the jungle bus and see what that's like. Um, but we've had a really nice day today. How's your day been so far? It's been lovely and the weather's really nice. It's not too hot. Yeah. It's got a nice little bit of chill. Honestly, it's lovely. It's really nice. So what does everyone give that ride? Primmy, what do you give it? Eight. eight. Really Prim good. really enjoyed that session. <laughs> Prim has given it an eight out of five. Mummy gives it... A three. A three. I'm going to give it, for what it is, a four. I think it's a bit faster than people think it is. And for little kiddies, like Primmy, so Prim is three, she's turning four in two weeks. Um, for people her age, that is a brilliant ride. It gives you the little weightlessness feeling that you get on a pirate ship. Prim, Finn, what did you think? Three. It, Three. It, it gave me a feeling like I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> the sort of the, the wee feeling, he calls it. But it's the weightlessness at the top. And um, yeah, good fun ride. We've just seen that the queue on the Gruffalo has really dropped down to 15 minutes. So we were going to have this as our last ride. But we're going to quickly run over to the other side of the park, do the Gruffalo for a final time, and then we will be heading home. Yay! It's been a really good day. It's been lovely. Very, very enjoyable. All right, let's walk over there. Right, that is us a done for today's trip. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed it. It's been lovely, hasn't it? Primrose, yeah. we just told her that we have to go now. And she goes, oh, but I miss this place. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Mardi Gras atmosphere is great. The dance everywhere, music everywhere. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more videos. Lots of other family days out on the channel. And we'll link the opening of Jumanji Land and the new Mandrel Mayhem ride down below. Go ahead and get that a watch. See you later. Thank you for joining us. See you soon.